see. Got my boy vlogging as well What's in the up, car. Man? So now we're gonna head to the Capitol to take some photos. What's up guys, if you're new here, my name is Tucker Scott and in today's video we are going over the DAT D4 Duo microphone. Uh, DAT sent me this microphone to kind of just test out and review. They're not paying me to make this video and I will give you guys my honest review on this microphone. So straight out of the box, I, I took it out already, straight out of the box you have your microphone and as you can see there's a microphone here and a microphone there. And the cool thing about this is it will record dual audio, which is pretty cool. The back mic records at minus 10 dB, which is, I mean, if you're filming something that's louder, you just, you know, you can switch it around and have it be the front mic. And there's two buttons, as you can see right there. So if I just want to use the front, I'll just switch it to the front microphone. If I want to use both, I'll just switch it to the second, which records back and front audio. So what's cool about this is... It's small and it comes with a wind screen that you can put on the front, a little dead cat that goes there, and then one that you can put on the back, which I'll put on. So there, there you have it. So now it essentially looks like this on your camera and it has, of course, your little scrunchy wires. So with that being said, I did create a video uh, while I was in Utah where I was vlogging with my friend Michael which is cool because we kind of we went to the Capitol to take photos, ended up meeting some cool people there, but you get a whole bunch of different scenery, you get some wind, you get some audio when I'm in the house just talking. So I'll play that video now, and then throughout the video, I'll just kind of point out what pros and cons I like about this microphone. So here you guys go, hope you enjoy. What's up guys, if you're new here, my name is Tucker Scott, and if you aren't already, hit that subscribe button, turn the post notifications on, I'm gonna be doing travel videos, vlogs, review videos. As you can tell, this mic and audio, it's, it's all right. It's the on-camera Canon R5 audio. I got sent this by Didi. It's the D4 Duo microphone. So I'm gonna put this on and switch to better audio. I'm testing it out today. I've never used it. They're not paying me to make this video, but I hope you guys enjoy. So now I'm back on the Didi D4 Duo microphone. I'm meeting up with my buddy Michael, and we are actually headed to the Salt Lake City Capitol. It's my last night here before I head back to California. But yeah, hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm interested to see how this mic works. But yeah, here we go. So the cool thing about this microphone is that my, my buddy just showed up, but uh, it records audio on both sides. So if I flip it around, as yeah, you can yeah. see, got my boy <laughs> vlogging as well What's in up, the car. Man? So now we're gonna head to the Capitol to take some photos. So backstory, I met Michael kind of through Instagram and we were just, you know, chatting back and forth. I was liking his photos. He was liking mine. We were DMing each other, always saying, hey, let's go shoot, let's go shoot. And the one, the very first time, I believe, when I asked him to come shoot with me, um, my brother ends up breaking his leg. I was landed on this guy and my, my leg just I call Michael, I'm like, dude, we're going dirt bike riding today, let's go ride. And he's like, down. Yeah, dude, let's shoot some photos. I got a phone call from Michael, and he's like, hey, where'd you park? I just got here. And I was like, dude, my brother just broke his leg. But we're at the track still, and I don't know if this is, like, sh shitty of me to say or not, but I was like, dude, film it. And he was like, all right. You got it, dude. <laughs> exactly. So I was like, dude, just film it. We'll use it for a video, and it'll just be you know kind of cool to see. Who knows? But now we've done like a hike together, as you've seen in like a, another video. No I'll, one got hurt. Yeah, nobody got hurt. Nobody got hurt that time. So I'll link that up in the video above here. But so you know, he's been blown up on Instagram. He's been taking killer photos. I'll link his stuff down below. But yeah, I mean, it was crazy just because, you know. 
met through Instagram. You can meet some cool people through Instagram. Many people think it's weird, but I mean, I, I met some I like closest friends through that. I mean, every single photographer friend that I've made is through Instagram. Yep. See, there it is. Social media. The power of social media. Look at the deer. Here's the back microphone action, but look at the deer, holy smokes. They're like a deer in headlights at the moment. <laughs> uh. We got people on the balcony watching us. Michael just found a, a damn good spot. I mean, look at this view, people. Wow. How's the back, uh, back mic sound? I don't know, we'll soon find out. But yep, we got people over there. We got Michael over here. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna get ready and uh, go shoot some photos and do some videos. All right, pause, pause it. Did you guys hear the wind with the microphone? I did. And that is probably the one thing that will drive me insane with this microphone while I was editing this video, is you can pick up on the wind with the mic. Although it has two dead cats on it, one for each mic, of course, there is space in between the microphone that I feel like the wind kind of gets up into and just makes so you can hear the wind basically. So, so far with this video, as I'm seeing while I'm editing it is the wind plays a huge factor in this microphone regardless of like little wind to a lot of wind. Obviously the more wind makes it worse, but we're in a situation where there was like zero wind. So the slight breeze that was coming through the mic picked up on, that'd probably be the one one downfall, but let's get back to the video. So we just got to the spot. We kind of had to do a little trespassing, but look at the capital in the background there. It's awesome. We got Michael. We're about to take some photos. You know, it's worth a shot. I mean, look at this view. This view is spectacular. We got the capital in the distance. Got Michael. How's this back microphone sounding? I think it's sounding good. You know, overall, with how small this mic is, I'm hoping that it does good with audio because it might be my new vlog microphone. We'll see. I'm not sure yet. But uh, yeah, hope you guys are enjoying this so far. About to go take some photos. So we did a little uh, improvising and we didn't quite make it to the Capitol, but we're taking photos. That's my, my 5D, my drone's yelling at me. Hold on. That's a whole nother story. I don't know if it's just the way I've been abusing my drone lately or what, but it's just, it's not working out the way I want it to. So I think I gotta get the new drone, which, you know, isn't the worst thing, right? But I'm gonna take some more photos. So we just met up with some more photographers out here. We got everybody. What's your Instagram? What's your guys' stuff? I'm Hirokagi. Hirokagi. My name is Adan Gorinis Photo. There you go. Beautiful I'm model. Jenna. Beautiful model. Beautiful I'm model. Jenna. Jenna. It's me, Song. Okay, all right. I will find them all. They all just follow me. I'll put their links in the description as well. So, Obviously that video got cut a little bit short due to the lack of daylight and as well we just met those guys we started talking to them but my overall thoughts on the DD D4 Duo honestly it's a great microphone I, I love the sound quality that came out on both ends like I said before the back microphone is minus 10 dB so if I was filming motorcycles or just in a loud environment I'd probably switch that to be the front microphone which you just can reverse it because of the cold shoe mount and so honestly first time using it super impressed the only thing i did not like about it was the fact that the wind even if it's just the slightest breeze can get into this thing and you know ruffle up the mic sound out of this thing so i mean overall good mic i'll show you 
the size. That's another thing I like about it. So I have my 5D Mark IV right here. And I'll just throw this puppy on. But as you can see, this is the size. And honestly, I put it on backwards, but you can use it to go on backwards. Here it is facing the right way. Here it is, boom. So honestly, great microphone. This is the size, of course, you just plug this puppy in right here. Boom, you start vlogging, that's how we do it. So honestly, thoughts on this thing? Great work by DD. Only downfall is the audio. Size wise, I mean, this is what I normally vlog with, my Rode Video NTG. And that's, as you can see, this is way smaller. So, as you can see, I put that hiding back in the corner. Great microphone. Would I recommend this to somebody that's starting out to vlog? Yes. Would I use this on a production set or filming with clients? Probably not, just because of that wind factor that's involved. I'd probably use this as a secondary microphone just to capture either ambient noise or just any sort of background noise I'd use this to capture. But podcasts as well, since that's in a controlled environment, I would definitely use this microphone alongside my Rode video. Just kind of two different microphones. You can honestly just set this up and one person can talk this way, one person can talk this way. And yeah, you have yourself a nice little podcast. So once again, overall thoughts on this thing. Deity, good job. Only thing I would recommend is trying to figure out how to minus the wind noise when it is a slight breeze outside. But yes, I would recommend it. I'm stoked that I got to use this. Thank you, Deity, once again for sending me this microphone. And please like and subscribe if you thought this video was informational. And I'll see you in next video. Later. Nice.